Channel 2 Investigates is getting new information on a story we first brought you last night at 10. An intern of Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is in trouble with the law after distributing a senator's information in a practice that's also known as doxing. But there's much more to this story. Investigator Robert Arnold just attended a news conference held by the Congresswoman. He joins us live with the very latest. Robert. We just finished speaking with Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee at her office here in downtown Houston. She flew in from D.C. earlier today. She says that Jackson Costco was an unpaid intern in her office for only 38 days before her office was notified by the sergeant at arms that he is suspected of releasing the personal information of several senators onto the internet. Now, Sheila Jackson Lee, tell Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee tells us that her office immediately fired Costco, and that was before his arrest. Costco has since been arrested, charged not only with releasing that personal information onto the internet, but also a slew of other crimes as well. One of the things that we had a chance to ask the Congresswoman is about is whether or not Capitol Police, who are spearheading this investigation, have had a chance yet to figure out how he obtained the personal information of those senators. It was not found in my office. He had to go get it from somewhere else. But remember, he had access to other individual offices because he had worked in those offices, both on the House side and the Senate side. So I'm saying that this was criminal behavior. It was not, um, this is not the way Congress um, performs. Lee's office says she is fully cooperating with this ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, Costco was arraigned in court in D.C. earlier this morning, and we're going to have more at 6 o'clock on exactly all of the charges that he is facing and what other allegations the Capitol Police are looking into in relation to this incident. Reporting live from downtown, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Robert, we look forward to your later report.